see Boston College won the toss. They elected to receive toe meets leather, and we are underway in the 2019 season for both of these teams out of the back of the end zone. There's Brian Johnson's kick, and BC will take the mark because you're re reaching a bowl game, but it's not enough for Steven Dazre anymore. And right now, wow, Zay Flowers, the true freshman, we need to see that one again. Caleb Farr, you've seen on this second drive. Fake to Dylan. Rolling out, there's a tight end, wide open. And it was Corab Adrizi on the catch. Brown goes up top, has his man open. Flowers for the score. talking about all week, all month, all preseason about their freshman, Zay Flowers. He is pumped up right now and he should be, man. He is exciting, explosive, and right away, they didn't waste any time getting him the other do here. The third and 10 is not exactly how you want to blow it up. Brown has plenty of time, though. Plenty of time, now flushed out of the pocket. Can't find any open receivers, but goes deep for White, and he has him inside the 20. White was battling with the defender all the way, but got just enough separation from Caleb Farley to bring it in. And Kobe White did his pure scramble drill as he saw his quarterback rule for a few weeks. He's going to try to make it work. It certainly has the distance, but it's wide right. So the troubles in the kicking game continue for Boston College. Lewis goes for it all. He's got a man wide open. That's going to be a touchdown for Virginia Tech. Hezekiah Grimsley was wide open, but behind the defense. Brian Willis right here. Shows his poise in the pocket. He's able to step into the throw. And Hezekiah Grimsley gets behind this young, inexperienced. Fake to Dylan. Brown now up top. Has a receiver open. It's Flowers again. Inside the 50. Makes a move to stay on his feet. And finally dragged down at the 26. This guy, Zay Flowers, you got to watch out for him. It's almost like you got to know for it. Much of the light of the fans here at Alumni Stadium. They'll give it to Dylan. Tripped up. And he's going to be close. He had to gain the 15-yard line. That's right where the officials are coming in to spot it. Reggie Floyd again coming in from that rover spot to lower the boom on Dylan. Hokies seem to think they've stopped him. And they have. They've given the ball over to Virginia Tech. So a big defensive... Tries to hit a receiver over the top. That's a beautiful play. Tate Haynes coming over on coverage. But the ruling is that's going to be a catch by Caleb Smith. Gets his motion this time. Willis looking his way over the top. Hits his receiver for a score. That's Tavian Robinson, the freshman, giving Virginia Tech the lead. All right, let's look at this route by 82 on the left-hand side of your screen. He did a double move, which brought in number 34, the linebacker, and put a one-on-one -on -one with Mike Palmer, the newly starting safety. He didn't have any of it. Kavion Robinson, the true freshman, got a touch. Four. Thank you, Dylan. Brown has time. He's had time all day long. There's one again. Picking up another first down. Khalil Ladler was on that coverage in the only run play. Flowers in motion. No room there, but now it bounces it back upside. Keeps his feet and he'll score. They were trying to get A.J. Dillon the ball on his own. He bounced to the edge. A.J. Dillon had different plans. And his plan said, I'm going to go around the other way. You watch him here. He sees this defensive line pushing his offensive line back. He says, okay, I'm going to go the other direction. Be Jalen Holston now. Out of the backfield, pressure to fumble. Picked up.
up by Boston College. Marcus Valdez comes up with the ball, but it was Tate Haynes coming off the boundary corner that forced that fumble. Let's take a look at it again. And another look at this, you see a stunt game up front. Virginia Tech had gone into a max protect. That ball from outside in and knock it away. Third down. White in the end zone. Touchdown. What a throw by Anthony Brown. This is not an easy throw. You're throwing a fade ball into the front corner of the end zone. He has to target that front pylon on that outside number of the receiver. What a perfect placement of that ball. Now Rolling let's see. The of a touchdown is under further review. If he got his foot down, it looks like he got that front foot down. The, the second foot was out of bounds, but let's see if he had possession when that front foot went down. Possession, I see front foot down. <sighs> Can't that really see and that following us on the ACC network. Hezekiah Grimsley back to receive this punt. Fumbles the football, muffs it. It's loose, and Boston College has fallen on it. That is a huge turn of events with two and a half minutes left to go in this first half. And this is what we talk about when we talk about Beamer ball. It's about. It's about special teams, and you heard the, the ref confirming that's Boston College ball. But you got to focus on the football. The number one job of the punt returner is to get the ball back to the offense. He tried to do a little bit too much on that play. Not in position. Catches the ball away from his body. And Boston College. Brown keeps it. The fake to Dillon. He's got a lot of room in front of him. Inside the 10 for the score. Anthony Brown has shown today already he can beat you through the air, and now he shows his running ability. He puts it on the ground. He takes it all the way himself and uses his speed. There was not a Virginia Tech defender in sight. He walked into the end zone. Two Boston College touchdowns off of two Virginia Tech turnovers. In the backfield with Willis. Stays in the block. Picked off. Baraccio for Boston College, the third turnover of the first half. And that's a big one. That is huge. Joe Sparaccio read the formation. He knew it was a three-by-one play that they had been running all verticals. Willis with the fate to McLeese. He's going to go up top. He has a receiver open in the end zone, and it's intercepted. A great play by Brandon Sebastian to pick it off, and the ball back to Boston College. What a play by Brandon Sebastian. He's able to go underneath a poorly thrown ball by Ryan Willis and take advantage, come up with a gigantic interception. Controlled the ball all the way down to the ground. I mean, this is just huge. Saved the touchdown, big turnover for a Boston College defense that's been number two in the country over the past few years at interceptions. They get another two tonight so far. Back shoulder or get his wide receiver up top. BC comes with pressure, but he finds his receiver in the end zone, and it's a score. James Mitchell, the tight end, hauls it in, and Virginia Tech is right back into this thing. Well, Virginia Tech's offensive coordinator obviously sees a weakness in that middle of their defense. When they've gotten down inside the red zone, back to back to back time, they've run this skinny post with their inside receiver. Last time, James Mitchell was a little bit too wide, allowing Joseph Sparaccio to intercept the pass. This time, he stayed on his landmark. Caught Willis, here comes pressure. Dumps it off, and it's intercepted! What a great interception by Tanner Crawford! And Tanner Carafa gets in on the mix and the interceptions. He makes a great pick. We've had an interception by a defensive back, by a linebacker, and now by a defensive tackle. The fifth turnover of the game for Virginia Tech, and this one is costly again here in the fourth quarter as they give it back to Boston College in their own territory. Ryan Willis here feels like he has a perfect setup, but 
Tanner Carafa reads the soft block by number 77, the left tackle. Kobe White Look for the pass. It's a throw, and he throws it. It's a long tight end, but it's intercepted. We'll fight for it at the end, but. Jermaine Waller with the interception for Virginia Tech. And he had two receivers on this end, too. He all Daly again. This time he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Boston College. What a day for David Bailey. Coming into this game, all the talk was about A.J. Dillon. And last year, it was Travis Levy who had two huge... Down two scores, Willis. Surveying the field, now comes back around, and a fantastic catch for a touchdown by Smith. Fantastic job by Smith, working back to the ball, providing an outlet for his quarterback. It looked like Boston College had most things covered on the front side of the play. Smith just had that extra effort. Let's look right here. And we see Ryan Willis looking front side, nothing there, nothing open, nothing. He goes back side to his fourth receiver. And look at this catch, full extension, comes down. Ryan Johnson will put it in play. Straight up in the air, this is gonna be covered easily by Boston College. Mike Palmer, the safety, making the grab, giving possession to the Eagles with just two 12. Run right in the middle. That's what they're going to try. Or maybe you can get a first down running the ball right up the middle. Good thing I'm not an offensive coordinator. A.J. Dillon finds his way through. And let's see how he did it. And maybe the biggest run of the game, not the most exciting, but watch Tyler Vrabel, son of Mike Vrabel, pin number 23, Rashard Ashby, down into the line of scrimmage, allowing A.J. Dillon to...